you're just only clearing more a few thousands of windows, I reckon. <laughs> That's got one of them all that will be ecstatic. In fact, I reckon it's probably got closer to 0 0.01. <laughs> So there's that. Tell you what, that is very, 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 very close. So, what I'm going to do here I'm just going to take this broth, this lock pin out. That's all that actually holds it in. Um, so got this little square head key. Now it's just locking on that very edge, which I don't think is acceptable to be honest with you. spot there, so I'm going to take the big little bit out and go for a small one. Now that looks pretty, looks nice and central. Might do some more, add a bit more speed to that. Angle looks good. Put that one back. Let's see, five sixteenth is the. Uh, it's a tap size for this spot. Well, so. It's a 3 8. A little bit of grease on it. There's nothing worse than having. Um, Fruit pick up and you try to put some pressure on something.
Okay, all we've got is this flapping around all over the place. What I know is that the gib strip's missing out of here. So we're going to have to make a gib strip of some description. Um, so, I'm going to have to take that off. What I'm doing is I'm winding this down and using the um, using the actual thread itself like a puller um, so that I can get the handle off. And the adjustables in there as a spacer. As you can see, it's uh, a little tight. Okay, so that's off. That's off. You can lift that up. There's a rub mark, there's a few rub marks in here. That so looks like it's upside down. But the question is, is it upside down? Seen because I had seen. There's a, um, a scale on the side. And the scale reads upside down. So uh, we'll just see if we can get you in here to have a look at it. Um, don't know that you're actually going to be able to see it, but let's try. Yep, you can see that. So we've got the scale here. That's 60 degrees, 50, 40. Um, let's go down a little bit. You might be able to see a bit more. My apologies for moving you while you're uh, on the stand. Now I can see my zero on. Not particularly well etched in, but it is there. That's good. That's loose. OK, 
Okay, so that's just an eccentric pin. I'll just Oh, okay, so that's adjustable. Now, I'm not cleaning it up completely because at least this patina, as we'll call it, at least that gives it some protection. I'll have to oil that now. Um, and I'm not going to. Uh, Give that a big clean up at the moment either. This will probably be a part of another five or six times here. So that's done, that's done. So we now know that's interesting. There's a score up here where those uh, screws have been rubbing, and there was a score on the side. Ooh, the screws have been rubbing. Okay. That's very interesting. Very interesting in as much as I'm going to grab a fine screwdriver. What's very interesting is that these uh, gib screws are so rounded. It's almost like they're not meant to. Oh, they're not meant to be there. Um, almost. The only reason, uh, what I do know is because I've seen the uh, a parts diagram that shows this having a given. Uh, what I didn't look at was these screws to see whether they're um, whether they are shown as round or not in the parts diagram. But the other thing to remember about parts diagrams is they are uh, really only ever generic. They don't necessarily show you exactly what was built despite the facts we know they should 